In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about amino acid pool. If we consider an average adult, then it is estimated that approximately 100 grams of free amino acids are distributed into various body compartment. This compartment may be cell or it may be blood or it may be extracellular fluid. Now, if we consider all these different compartment of the body as a single entity, suppose this is the single entity, then we can say that in this single entity, there is approximately 100 gram of free amino acids. And this single entity, it is called as a amino acid pool. Now, this amino acid pool, it is not in the stagnant state, rather this is in the dynamic state. Dynamic state means there is a continuous addition of free amino acid into this pool as well as there is a continuous removal of free amino acid from this pool. So, because of that there is there is continuous this uh, common pool is in the continuous movement. So, that is why it is in the dynamic state right. Now, let us first look at the processes which can add free amino acids into this common amino acid pool. So, the first and most abundant input it comes from the endogenous protein breakdown. Endogenous protein breakdown. It is estimated that approximately 400 gram of amino acids are added to this pool each day by this endogenous protein breakdown. The second major source is the dietary proteins. As we had seen in the earlier video, in the digestion and absorption of the protein, we know that dietary protein, they are get completely digested to free amino acid and then they are reabsorbed. So, these amino acids, they can also be added into this common amino acid pool. But our dietary protein source, it is quite variable. Some day we take more protein, some day we take a less protein. So, on an average, approximately 40 to 100 grams of free amino acids are taken in the diet each day, right. The third source for this amino acid pool is the synthesis of non-essential amino acid. Synthesis of non-essential amino acids. This can also add to this amino acid pool. Now, there are certain output processes which can utilize this free amino acids from this common amino acid pool. So, the first and majorly utilizing free amino acid process is the protein synthesis. Protein synthesis. It is estimated that approximately 400 gram of proteins are synthesized each day. And if you look carefully, this amount of endogenous protein breakdown, it is totally matching with this protein synthesis. So, whatever protein is synthesized, the same amount of protein is getting broken down. So, this breaking down as well as new synthesis of protein, it is called as a protein turnover. The more details about the protein turnover, they are covered in the next video. The second process which can utilize the free amino acid from the amino acid pool is the protein loss from the body. We know that there is a degradation process of the amino acid. So, due to degradation or catabolism of amino acids, approximately 30 to 50 gram of uh, free amino acids are lost each day. This is also quite constant. This is also constant and this is also constant. Now, the, for the third process which can utilize free amino acid from this amino acid pool is quite interesting. See what happens for the carbohydrate, there is a storage form of carbohydrate, right? In the plant, we have a starch as a storage form of carbohydrate and in the animal, we have glycogen as a storage form of carbohydrate. For the lipid also, there is a storage form, right? The triacylglycerol is the storage form of the lipid, but for the amino acid, there, are, there is no any storage form. That means or in other words, we can say that there are there is no any protein for which the sole function is for the supply of amino acid. No, it is not like say. So, what I want to say is that, that if you have taken or if you have more input for this 
free amino acid then it cannot be remain stored in the body it finds its way in the output by which this extra added amino acid will be utilized so if there are any extra amino acids extra free amino acids they can either go for the synthesis of carbohydrate or fat or this extra amino acids they can be utilized for the energy generation it is estimated that approximately 10 to 15% of body's daily requirement of energy is supplied by this free amino acid or this extra amino acids they can find it their way into synthesis of non protein compounds non protein compounds this non protein compounds it may be porphyrins or it may be purines or pyrimidines these are all different compound which can be synthesized from the amino acids so now these all are the output processes from this amino acid pool and these all are the input processes for this amino acid pool now in the next video we'll look about the protein turnover thank you